Yo, yo, what's good, y'all? So in this video, um, I'm going to talk about the importance of coming out um, to whoever, whether that be one, two, three, how many people um, you may be thinking about coming out to. And I want to say um, from the start, this is not me telling y'all to come out. Damn, I'm um, this is just me telling y'all the benefits and, um, like why is, why is good, not necessarily, not only for yourself, but for the, everyone who's involved. You feel me? Excuse me one second. So in the last video, I mentioned how, um, I came out to my entire family and with that, um, for me, I could say I kind of did that on a whim. Um, just thought about it one day. You know, I, I had um, come out to my pops like a few weeks before. Um, I know the whole situation with my mom's and my my uh, best homie. Um, but yeah, it was just to me, it was just time. You know, I was just ready. Um, like I'm at a good place where you know I have uh, peace in my life, you feel me? Um, learned some things, I've grown a lot over these uh, past couple years. Um, and for those of y'all who have been, you know, watching my videos for a minute, um, y'all know that originally I, uh, I never planned to come out to anyone. Um, even when I had accepted myself, my, my own sexuality, you feel me? Um, I didn't feel like my family really deserved to know. Sorry about that. Y'all always got my window open because I like fresh air. But, um, yeah, so I didn't feel like my family really needed to know, um, in general because, you know, it's... It's my sexuality, you feel me? So I don't feel like, I still don't feel like necessarily everyone has to know. I feel like in general, um, talking about when it comes to y'all, anybody, you can tell whoever you, like, whoever you're closest to, I feel like, because, you know, at first I came out to my cousins and my, um, and my homie, my best homie, right? Um, the people that I was closest to in my life still am, um, yeah, it's the lamp. And you know, at the time I was fine with that. That was like a real weight lifted on my off my shoulders at that um on its own. On its own, right? Um and uh, we come to this point now, it's probably it's probably been like two years since I told uh you know my cousins and my best only since I came out to, to my first my first people, you feel me? Um and now I told my entire family because I was just like, fuck it, um, basically. But um, even though I I came out to my whole family on some, you know, it's, it's whatever type shit, there's also, you know, a weight lifted off my shoulders with that just because, you know, even though I don't see my extended family all the time, we do... Like, we are pretty, pretty tight, you feel me? Like, we have family gatherings and all that. So, you know, when I do see them at family functions, I ain't got to, uh, well, maybe not for all of them. Uh, I ain't got to hear, though, do you have a girlfriend? Or, you know, why don't you have a girlfriend? You're So this and this and that and blah, blah, blah. Because um, y'all know how families do, right? They always, in your life, blah, blah, blah. You should be with somebody, blah, blah, blah. Um, so yeah, and those, you know, little interactions, you feel me, having to not necessarily lie to them, it's like not telling them the full truth, you feel me, um, but I will say, like, just to, um, reiterate at this point, I'm fluid, but I prefer dudes, I see myself being with a dude, ultimately, right, um, and just 
for those of y'all who don't know what fluid means, it means my sexual attraction um, has changed over time because I've been attracted to females and then I've been attracted to niggas and then I went back to females for like a little cool little minute then I was attracted to niggas and females and now I'm, I'm mainly just niggas so yeah um but that's just me so yeah uh getting into like the you know, it's good for you, obviously, because you won't have, to, like I said, like you won't have to lie at all to anyone anymore. You won't have to um, not tell them the full truth. Right. Um, and then what I really um, what I feel is more important is that when you're I'm the uh, on my mother's side of the family, I'm the first and the only. um I mean, I really don't think anyone else in my family get down like that. But I'm the only one who's out like that. So, so I'm the first and only one in my family to to be out, um, to express openly that I'm attracted to the same sex, right? Um, and with that being what it is, my family in general, you know, some, you know, you always got your elders who are more Bible-thumping, conservative, right? Um, so we got a few of those in my family. But in general, my family's pretty open-minded. I'll say um, most of the people in my family are pretty, pretty educated. Um, even if, you know, some of them didn't go to college, like they, they open minded. Right. Um, and even with being that, you know, if you don't know anybody that is attracted to the same sex, right. Um, anybody who's gay by whatever, and, and you're straight, I'm saying you don't have to think about that world. You don't have to think about, those people, you feel me, for real, like, you don't have to care, right, um, but if you're like me, and you're the first, um, out person in your family, right, for, for some members of your family, they may have to reevaluate, you know, how they think about these things, right, you know, now it's like, oh, you know, there's someone in my family who I care about, um, and who I love, and, you know, they are the way they are, it's like, you know, maybe I have to um, be a little more sensitive to that, maybe I have to reevaluate my perspective on things, you feel me, um, because, for example, in my life, me and my mother don't talk about it a lot, um, because she don't want to, I don't really want to either, um, aside from that, first uh that first incident but i know that she has been educating herself in that realm um so to speak since i came out she's made an effort to be more understanding because i am who i am you feel me like i've seen her you know watch some tv shows where they where they talk about it um reading like different types of articles not all of this on point, uh, but making the effort is just what I'm talking about, right? So, again, I'm gonna say with the elders, a lot of times I feel like they're a little too far gone, they stuck in their ways. Um, so I don't expect, I don't expect much from them. Um, but my cousins who are, you know, and they, 30s 40s they they still have they can still ch change their um mindset you feel me when it comes to that um and that has a trickle effect you feel me so um say you come out now you don't want person in their family and you, they got to be a little um, more more considerate think a little differently you feel me um, in their circles, when that subject comes up, right, they'll probably think of you. And if, uh, say the conversation isn't going, uh, if, if the conversation is a little ignorant, um, not saying that they're going to necessarily speak up for you like that, 
but I mean, they might, you feel me? And not just for you, I'm just saying like in general, because they have to be like, you know what, this is some person I love, like they're the way they are, they can't change that, right? Um, just being educated in the, um, in the realm of sexuality, you feel me? Um, you can be the one to educate them. They might do it on their own, all that type of stuff. You feel me? But that is how we change minds, like change perspectives, all that. So you the black sheep, whatever, <clears throat> they have to think a little differently. They might take that to their peers. They might take it to, you know, someone else who maybe is, um, a professional in that realm with their questions, go on the internet, all that kind of stuff. You feel me? Um, but I'm saying if they don't have to, they won't. Right? You would be that reason. And that's really all I wanted to say with this one. Um, it's nothing deeper than that. All right? Y'all like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch y'all in the next one uh, in a few days.